Hey guys, so just before we get into this week's vlog, I just wanted to say thank you guys for being patient with me as I took a break from vlogs and then I didn't have a video go up last week, which I know it feels like I was gone for a long time, at least for me, because I upload so frequently. So like a week break is like, oh my God, where did I go? But I'm going to be getting back into my regular uploads now. So I'm going to be changing them a little bit though. I'm going to be having two videos a week rather than three. One of those will be a vlog and then I will have one other video go up every now and again. I might have three videos go up but I'm not going to force myself to put up three videos because I want to focus more on quality over quantity so I hope you guys are okay with that but I'll talk about that a little bit more later I guess I will just let you guys enjoy the vlog. Actually also speaking of before you get into the vlog this is going to be a longer vlog because it is a two week long vlog because I thought I was going to have a vlog going up the week after I got back from my trip to California but didn't end up doing that so then I just kept on going so yeah this is a long period of time sorry about that but we will be getting back to regular vlogs soon and by soon i mean next week hello welcome back to vlogs so it is tuesday morning actually and i have a lot to update you guys on i ended up not vlogging when i was in california just because i wanted to kind of enjoy my vacation but now i'm back i've been back for almost a week so today's mission is to finish up unpacking i have invisalign now so i'm kind of still getting used to it like my mouth still doesn't really know what to do but it's fine but I'm just about to go and get coffee and then when I get back I will update you guys on how my reading has been going what my reading plans are for the week and all of that stuff so reading update mini haul all of that is going to happen now I'm obviously still cleaning my room as you can see behind me it is for the most part like pretty clean it's just kind of putting stuff away but I'm just lazy but I can't remember what I last read in my last reading vlog because it was like a month ago but I did read while I was on vacation. I only finished two books because I just wasn't in the mood to read and on top of that I was trying to do the Owls readathon and that just wasn't working out for me. I wasn't liking like limiting what I was reading to what was fitting prompts so that kind of set me back a little bit. Like I did read I think half of this almost but I'm going to revisit it later just because I wasn't really into the story. Like I kind of want to DNF it but I've heard so many good things about it so I don't really want to DNF it. Like when I go on Goodreads there's so many good reviews so I'm like oh but like I was 40% through it and I was kind of like it was a very jarring story like you go in between this fantasy world and the past and the present which is in like 1940s London and there was just really no rhyme or reason to it so I found it hard to get into but I might revisit it later and see if I can finish it at least but because of that I was kind of set back with my reading since I I couldn't really engage myself or engross myself in anything but I finished Field Notes on Love by Jennifer E. Smith and I gave it a three out of five stars. I thought it was cute and fun and it dealt with a lot of things that I wasn't really expecting but I'm gonna give you guys more thoughts in my recent reads video because I'm going to have to film one soon. I don't even have a video for on Friday but like I'm really hesitant to film because I know I kind of have a lisp now and I'm just not used to it and yeah, I know I'm gonna have to film and I'm gonna have to get over it because I'm going to have Invisalign on for five months so like I'm gonna have to deal with it but it's gonna take me some time so I might miss my Friday upload. But the other book that I finished was The Princess and the Fangirl by Ashley Poston. This was the next book in the Geekarella series but it's not like it doesn't follow it but it follows the same thing out. So Starfield is this like sci-fi series and this is taking place at this con where all these people go and like it's basically like Comic-Con but for the Starfield series and this is a Prince and the Popper retelling and it is a switcheroo sort of thing with the main actress who plays one of the characters in Starfield and this really big fangirl. So I didn't enjoy this as much as Geekerella, but I thought it was still a fun story. But once again, I'm going to give more thoughts in my recent reads video, but this I gave, I think, a three out of five stars as well. I also almost finished The Forbidden Orchid by Sharon Biggs Waller. I think I have like three hours left in the audiobook, but then I just didn't listen to an audiobook again so I'm hoping to finish this in the next couple of days but I've been watching Schitt's Creek and that has been taking up all my time. This is why I don't watch TV shows because when I start them I can't stop. But I also started reading Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson but then I realized that I need to read Scythe by Neil Schusterman which will be a reread for me but we all know my memory is terrible so I don't remember anything about it and it's going to be like the first time I'm reading it but I need to read it by Saturday, Sunday, by Sunday because we have the bookmarked live show since this is our book of the month 
month. By the time you see this video, that will be done. It's going to be on my channel, so I will leave it linked down below and have a little card here for you guys, but I'm super excited to dive into this world again, especially because I want to read the sequel soon. That reminds me, I should film a May TBR. I'm all over the place. I just need to get myself organized now that I'm back, and this is what I hate about going for vacation. Whenever I come back, it takes me like a couple of weeks to get myself organized again and like figure my shit out, basically, because I'm just like everywhere. But I also have a few new books to show you guys, so I didn't do too much book shopping while I was gone because I was doing other shopping and I just, I didn't want to have to bring back a ton of books and I didn't really need books. I just bought so many that I didn't need that many, but I did go with my sister to a little used bookstore that is in her area. We actually went to two of them, but I picked up some Christina Lauren books because I was on my adult romance kick before I left and I think I'm gonna go back to these to try and get me back into reading when I'm done with Scythe, but I picked up a few of her other titles that interest me and I think the only other one that interests me of hers is the one that's coming out, The Unhoneymooners, and that comes out in a few weeks, I think. But I picked up Love and Other Words, my favorite Half Night Stand, and finally Roomies. So I will probably be getting to these soon because they're such quick reads and I just need something to make me feel like I'm being productive with reading again and build up the momentum. And then I came home to some book mail, so a couple of the things that I got I'm actually going to be returning because I had pre-ordered them, but then I changed my mind. Like, I'm not going to continue with the Shatter Me series anymore. I'm not going to read Is It Defy Me, the new one? Yeah. I've just heard some mixed things about it and I just don't think I have the interest in the story anymore, so I'm making that decision for myself. But I came home to The Rest of the Story by Sarah Dessen. This is coming out in June. I'm not sure of the exact date. I don't think it says it on here, but I've actually never read a Sarah Dessen book, which is wild, but I'm so into the romances and contemporaries and all that stuff that I think this is going to be a great read. So I'm going to try and finish cleaning my room as quickly as I can and then I'm going to go and do some reading outside I think because it's really nice out and I want to take advantage of the niceness. It's kind of cloudy but like the temperature is nice and it's not raining or anything so it's good reading outside weather and where I live the reading outside weather is like very very slim window. It's either like way too cold or it's rainy and then it gets way too hot to read outside so now that it is nice out and it's my favorite time to read outside I'm going to try and take advantage of that. But first I need to clean my room and really I should spend that time like figuring my life out but I'm just not gonna do it. Hello. 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 So it's 7 p.m. and I have my hair just thrown up in a very very messy bun but I'm about to go outside and read some more of Scythe. I got like 20 something pages into it before I ended up going to the gym. I was reading outside and the sun is setting so I want to take a little bit more advantage of the time that I have to read in the great outdoors. <laughs> Thursday. I don't know where this week went. It has absolutely flown by. I didn't vlog at all yesterday. No particular reason for that. My hair, there's a lot happening with it, but I really need to focus on finishing Scythe. So I figured it out and I have like 360 pages or 350 pages left. And in order to finish it Saturday and be ready for the live show on Sunday, I'll have to read 116 pages a day for the next three days. But Saturday, I'm busy the whole day, so I don't know how that's gonna work out. So today and tomorrow, I'm gonna focus on really making a dent in this and hopefully I will be able to finish it on time. That's my mission. I'm going to start off with my coffee and also hydrating. Water is important, but I'm going to read this for a little bit. I'm gonna set a timer for, I don't know, an hour, read for an hour. It's 10 a.m. right now, so that seems reasonable. I also got exciting book mail the other day. I got If I'm Being Honest by Emily Wiberly and Austin Siegeman Broca, which I am so, so excited for. Their first book, which was Always Never Yours, that was a Romeo and Juliet story, and I loved it. It was one of my favorite books that I read in 2018, and this one is Taming of the Shrew, and I'm so excited for it. But I need to read this. I'm on page 98, so I'm almost 100 pages into it, which is exciting, but I don't remember, like, anything about it. There is one particular scene that I did remember, and it's because I found it a really 
like chilling and interesting scene, but I really enjoy Neil Shusterman's writing. He is very dark and explores things that make you uncomfortable. Like the only other book of his that I've read was Unwind, and that one was like also really crazy and creepy, dystopian. And this one is more of a utopia, but to me, utopia and dystopia are kind of the same thing. I know that they're not, but like at their core, they kind of are because a utopia is really a dystopia. Not so much a dystopia being a utopia, but like the other way around. Did that make any sense? I don't know. But I'm eager to get into the story. There hasn't been a ton happening so far, so I kind of want to see where the action is going to go because I haven't really gotten a lot of that yet, but I do still have like a pretty hefty chunk left. So I have done a little bit of reading, but now I actually have a couple of packages to unbox. So I got my Owl Crate and my Fairy Loot from March, but they came like right before I left for California. So never got the chance to unbox them. So I'm going to do a silent unboxing now, but I will have the link for the companies as well as coupon codes down below for you guys. <laughs> the two books here. So from the fairy loot, I got Two Best of the Boys by Mary Weber. I'm not sure if I want to read this, to be honest. I had an arc of it and I just, it kind of reminds me of The Maze Runner and The Maze Runner is a book that I didn't really enjoy. So I'm going to wait for some reviews and see if I want to read it or else I'm just going to donate it. But the other book that I got is Wicked Saints by Emily A. Duncan and I actually pre-ordered this. So I do have a copy, but it's not in this cover. So I think I'm going to try and read it soon and if I enjoy it I might keep the original cover because I do really like that cover too but if I don't enjoy it there's no sense in spending extra money on it but I do like this cover I just think I kind of prefer the original a little bit more but I've heard some really good things about this story so I am thinking that I am going to like it but the scarf that came in the fairy loot is super cool it has like a bunch of book spines and titles on it and it's just so fun I quite enjoy it but yeah I'm going to go and do some more reading because that's that's what I need to do today and I haven't been doing a very good job of it to be honest. Happy Friday! So it's actually Friday afternoon. I'm just about to do my makeup because I think I'm going out for dinner with a friend after bookmarked tonight but I haven't really done anything today. I read a little bit of Scythe. I am on page 205 so I am still on track I believe kind of <laughs> to finish it in time for the live show but either way I will make it there eventually but all I've really been doing today is I FaceTimed with Zoe for a little bit and that's about it. So that's not very productive. I did go to the gym this morning though. So I did that at least, but I think I'm going to do my makeup, read a little bit of this, and then probably have bookmarked. I did get my fairy loot today though. So maybe I'll do another quick fairy loot unboxing. This is the same blog that I had the other unboxing in. So the website and coupon code will still be linked down below. This is just the April blog. <laughs> This month was Nocturna by Maya Moyatane, I believe was the last name, Motane. But I actually had an arc of this and I didn't get the chance to get to it. And this is a different cover. The other cover is red. I think I kind of prefer it a little bit more, but I do still enjoy this cover. It is beautiful, but I'm really excited for this story. It is based on the author's Dominican heritage and it's about a face shifter. Like it just sounds super cool. So I'm really looking forward to getting to it. But now I need to go and get ready. Happy Monday. It's obviously been a second because it's Monday and I think the last time that I updated was Thursday maybe. I don't even know but last week just kind of got away from me so I decided that I'm going to combine last week's footage with this week's footage and have just one big long reading vlog which will hopefully be a little bit more enjoyable and interesting for you guys but last week I only read one book and that was Scythe by Neil Shusterman. I was just 
lazy last week. I don't really have any other explanation other than that, but this was a reread for me and I finished it yesterday. I finished it yesterday morning. I had to read it for our bookmarked book club pick for April and we had the live show on my channel, so I will link that down below if you guys wanted to check it out. I'll also have a card that you guys can click, but we had a lot of fun discussing this book. It's such a fascinating story and it just really makes you think, so I will talk about it a little bit more in my recent reads video, which I need to film tomorrow or Wednesday. I, I don't even know. I'm just kind of a mess right now and I really just need to get my shit together. But I need to plan out this recent reads video, but right now I am going to clean my room and I have to take an Instagram photo for a campaign that I'm doing. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to listen to the audiobook that I'm currently listening to, which is Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. I was going to physically read this, but I decided to start the audiobook yesterday when I was at work because I had just finished Scythe and I didn't want to start Thunderhead because I didn't want to get the two mixed up during the live show so I'm gonna listen to this and then Thunderhead but I'm not very far into this one but it's enjoyable so far but like really I can't say much because I'm probably like half an hour into the audiobook. I did get some book mail today so I got a finished copy of With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo which I'm so excited about. I read the arc and I really enjoyed it so I'm so happy to have this gorgeous finished copy. It's so pretty and like the chapter headings have like all of these fruit on it and the spices and everything it's just awesome and I mean just look at under the jacket like I absolutely needed this I also got my pre-order of the candle in the flame by Nafisa Azad so this is also a gorgeous book and I'm super excited to read it but I have so much to do and I'm super stressed about it so I'm gonna get started on all of that so it's nighttime now I'm about to go to bed because I work tomorrow morning but I'm going to read a little bit before bed so I ended up picking up Prince Charming by Rachel Hawkins and I'm on page 30 I think not very far into it but I felt like it seems like a fun cute and quick I don't know summary contemporary so I was like it's kind of gloomy outside I wish it was a little bit warmer so maybe this will make it seem like it's warmer I don't know I just picked it up and was like yep I guess that's what I'm reading so I haven't done a lot of reading today I ended up doing a lot of other things cleaning my room not included in those I do still need to do that so that will be a project for tomorrow but I'm probably gonna fall asleep really quickly or at least hopefully because I'm exhausted so it is Tuesday I worked this morning and now I am about to clean my room and then I'm going to spend the day I don't want to focus on getting a video up this week I think I'm just going to kind Kind of let it not happen probably because I don't want to just rush through something and be stressed about it. I'm just going to take a little bit of time off from that, which wasn't really my intention, but I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing for me to take a little bit of a break, but hopefully you guys won't be too disappointed. But I will have a video going up next week. I will have this vlog going up and then an additional video. So I just feel like today I want to focus on getting some Instagram photos ready, which might seem like a minor thing, but I feel like I've really been slacking on Instagram lately and it's something that I want to put more effort into because I enjoy it a lot. So I want to try and have some posts ready to go so then when I feel like posting something I can just have something that I can post. Did that make sense? Probably not but I have to clean my room first which every time I have a vlog where I need to clean my room I say I need to clean my room at least 12 million times because I always procrastinate with it but I'm actually going to do it now so I started doing it yesterday and then I had to go to the gym but I have like a stack of books here that I'm taking off of my shelves. These are ones that I haven't read yet that I I'm thinking about unhauling. I'm really not sure about this one. Imposters, I don't think I want to read it. And then All the Crooked Saints, also don't think I want to read it. And then these other ones are books that, like, I don't want to get rid of completely, but I've read them and they're not, they're not my favorite, so I don't really want to keep them on my shelves. I'm just trying to kind of, like, free up some room on my shelves because they've been quite full as of late. So I'm going to clean up these first and then I'll get to everything else. It's really not that big of a mess. It's just, I'm a lazy person and I just keep on procrastinating ridiculously. I also am wearing a shirt with little cacti on it. How cute! Fun fact, I'm actually terrified of cacti because when I was a kid, I stepped on one. Don't recommend that. It was very painful and traumatizing, but what's life without a little trauma? Anyways, I'm gonna get to cleaning my room!
So it's storming right now. It's only 9.30, not even 9.30 on Tuesday night, but like I'm so exhausted that I'm going to go to bed now. Really, I should do some reading before bed because that's something I haven't been doing, but I'm so tired that I know it's not gonna happen. So I'm going to make it my mission to read tomorrow morning, but I also have a couple of other things to do. I did get my room cleaned, so that's awesome, but I also managed to get most of this audiobook done. I have a about two hours left so I think I'm kind of halfway through and I feel like I haven't really connected with the story in the same way that a lot of other people have because I have heard some great things about it but I just don't think the connection was really there for me unfortunately but I guess we'll see I don't know I'll continue with the audiobook see if I do end up enjoying it but maybe I need to put it down and actually physically read it. That being said I'm going to watch some random stuff on Netflix before going to bed because I am exhausted. So my hair is wet excuse that but it is Wednesday morning. I went to the gym this morning and then I showered and now I have a couple of reading updates for you guys. So I was talking about Truly Devious last night and saying how I wasn't sure how I felt about the audiobook. It was pretty confusing to me because it just jumps back between time periods but the narrator is the same for both of them so it's hard to me to the narrator is the same for both of them so it's hard for me to keep track of that so I made the decision to put down the audiobook and I'm going to wait until I can actually physically read it so I'm currently working my way through Prince Charming I didn't get the chance to read any of it yesterday but I really would like to take some time today and really for the rest of the week to dedicate some of my day to reading because I've been really bad about that but but I should be able to do that today because I don't have too, too much on my agenda. Now, as far as an audiobook goes, I'm going to pick up Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman. This is the second book of the Ark of a Scythe trilogy. I don't know if it's a trilogy or a series, but I talked about Scythe earlier in this vlog because I reread it last week for Bookmarked and Hannah has currently been working her way through this and she said it is absolutely wild. And I know that when this book came out, that's where a lot of the hype surrounding Scythe finally like came about I guess no one was really talking about it and then all of a sudden everyone was talking about it when the sequel came out but I haven't gotten the chance to read it yet so now I'm so excited to start it and see where the story is gonna go because I'm expecting some pretty wild things. Now May is the season for new releases and it's always that first Tuesday of May where a bunch of books come out so I have a bunch of books here to unbox. So the first book in here actually appropriately is Her Royal Highness by Rachel Hawkins so this is the companion novel to Prince Charming. The covers are so cute. I'm so happy about this rebrand but this is a female female romance and it sounds like it's going to be adorable and I'm so excited for it. Next is Again But Better by Christine Briccio. So I got my copy early. I had pre-ordered it and the concept of this book sounds so amazing and of course I'm so happy to be supporting Christine and I can't wait to read it. And the final book I think is the one that I'm most excited for. Oh my god. And that is a hot dog girl by Jennifer Dugan. This sounds so cute, so fun. It's like this carnival set romance. I think that this is going to be perfect. Look at the back cover. I love it so much. It's literally like the girl is dressed as a hot dog at a carnival and it's a love story, but then there's more love stories in here. It's a queer romance. I'm just, I'm so pumped. So those were all the things that I wanted to show you guys. So now I have a couple of things that I need to do for a sponsorship that I'm doing. And then I might start importing the footage for this vlog because like I honestly don't know what I have for it and then I don't know. I guess I should get some reading done because that's what I said. I need to do some reading. So I think that's on the agenda for today. So I've done all the things that I had to do today already and it is 1.47 p.m. I thought it was only 1 p.m. Yikes. But it's supposed to start raining in about an hour. So I think in the meantime, I am going to go outside and do some reading because it's really nice and warm out. So I'd like to take advantage of it while I can. It's been just like really gloomy and rainy and gross out and like it still is I mean it's supposed to rain but it hasn't started yet and it's warm so I think in the meantime I'm gonna take advantage of it so 
I was outside for like maybe two minutes and it started raining. So the weather network lied to me because it said it wasn't supposed to start raining until 2.40, but it already started raining and I hadn't even gotten the chance to read yet because I found some pretty flowers in my neighbor's backyard. So I was trying to take a picture of my book with them, but alas, it did not work out. So I guess I'm just gonna read inside. I'm not sure where yet, but I'm gonna curl up somewhere and hopefully not get distracted and hopefully my mind will not wander and it will actually be able to focus on reading. Good morning, happy Thursday. So today I plan on reading and then I'm going to hopefully be able to plan out some videos. So my mission right now is to continue with where I was before I went on vacation, which is reading 100 pages every day. That seems to be a pretty attainable goal. It's not too, too hard. Sorry if you can hear a lawnmower, the lawn is being cut right now, but I did manage to get 100 pages into this yesterday, which I'm super happy with. So now I've been reading this morning and I'm on page 130. It's super cute and fun so far and I'm looking forward to getting some more into the story, further into the story. That was a sentence. But I believe, so it's 293 pages, so I might actually be able to finish this today. Wow, the lawnmower is literally like in my bedroom. But I'm basically gonna see how far I can get and hopefully I'll be able to get pretty far into it. It's a quick read. I just have been very distractible as of late. I don't even know if that's a word, but now it is. So I'm going to do some reading now and see if I can finish this. So it's a little bit later. It is 11. 30 almost but I have been reading this lovely book it's so much fun it's a really funny story and a really easy read I'm on page 160 now so I haven't really done that much reading since I last updated but I did some laundry so I did at least do something but I got a couple of packages in the mail I know what at least one of these is the other one I'm not too sure so we'll find out so first we have a book that I recently ordered and it is a bargain book but it's Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and look at how freaking shiny it is. I could literally just stare at this shining in the viewfinder forever because it is so pretty. But this seems to be a mix of the original illustrations as well as illustrations by Arthur Rackman and it wasn't that expensive so I was like I need to pick it up and add it to my collection. And next I think I know what this is but now I'm not sure because I think this box is a bit small for it. It is! Okay so this book is way smaller than I was expecting but it is Aurora Rising by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is the same duo that wrote The Illuminae Files, which I really loved, and those books are huge, so I feel like I just expected this book to also be huge, but The Illuminae Files is told in an interesting format, and this one is just told in, like, regular prose. There's no... Well, actually, there's a couple of things, but, like, this sort of thing is what makes up The Illuminae Files, but this is mostly just, like, regular storytelling, so I'm gonna look into the audiobook for this one because I did love The Illuminae Files, audiobook so much but I don't know if this one would be a good audiobook I don't really know but honestly what intrigued me about this was the author duo obviously I was very excited about but on the top the tagline for it is they're not the heroes we wanted they're just the ones we could find and I think that sounds absolutely hilarious I'm really excited to read this book I'm interested to see how I'm going to feel about it because it is so different than the Illuminae files so that was my book mail for today and now I'm going to do some more reading. Hello. So I haven't really done much updating today because I haven't really done much today. I went to the gym this morning and then I did do some reading. So I'm on, I think like just past page 200. Yeah, I'm on page 207. So I had been hoping to get to page 200 last night because that would have meant that I read 100 pages yesterday, but I ended up forgetting and then I fell asleep at page 189 and that was disappointing, but I'm still hopeful I can get to 100 pages today. And if I do, that means I will finish this book. So fingers crossed I will be able to do it. So we have bookmarked tonight. So I did do that. I planned out bookmarked this morning and then I FaceTimed with Hannah and Zoe for basically the entirety of the day. So that was really my day today. So I'm planning on doing a little bit more reading before we get ready for bookmarked and going live. Good morning. Happy Saturday. So I'm about to go out and run some errands, do grocery 
groceries and stuff like that but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update so last night I ended up finally finishing Prince Charming by Rachel Hawkins and it was so so cute I enjoyed it thoroughly I had a lot of fun reading it I thought the characters were spunky and fun I think my only complaint is there are certain characters that I would have liked to get to know a little bit better and a little bit sooner than I actually did but I also feel like those characters could have spin-offs so this could be like a whole companion novel series of books about royalty and I would be so down for that honestly this was just really fun and refreshing and I had a great time reading it I felt like I was watching like a rom-com it was like the princess diaries but in a book which like what else could I ask for I know the princess diaries is actually a book but I mean it's like the princess diaries in a book again so since I enjoyed this one so much I wasn't going to pick this next one up right away but I really need to so I'm going to pick up her royal highness by Rachel Hawkins this is a companion novel and I'm very excited to get back into these characters and hear a little bit more about them and I hope that this won't be the last companion novel that we get from this whole world and this cast of characters because I think there's a lot of potential for like a prequel one like a bunch of sequel ones I would just love to hear about all of them but I'm definitely very very excited for this one because it is a sapphic romance so I can't wait but like I said gotta go and run some errands get some groceries and stuff so I'm gonna go and do that so it's Sunday night and I just wanted to wrap up this vlog really quickly I hope you guys still enjoyed it I know it was a little bit all over the place but I promise this coming week I'm planning on getting back to regular just good old fun vlogs and hopefully they will contain a lot of reading so far it's seeming like they will but I guess we'll see how that goes but I did end up finishing two books in the course of this reading vlog I DNF'd one so I didn't really talk about it but I ended up DNFing The Forbidden Orchid by Sharon Biggs Waller I was almost done with the audiobook but I just kind of lost interest in it I didn't really feel like continuing with it and I knew it was making its way toward being a three out of five star book anyway so I just decided not to continue and just to put it down but I did end up finishing Scythe by Neil Shusterman which I gave a four out of five stars maybe a 4.5 but I think I'm pretty settled on a four but both of these books I will talk about more in a recent reads video which I plan on doing very very soon but I also finished Prince Charming by Rachel Hawkins which I also gave a four out of five stars but this one I actually think I want to bump it up to a 4.5 because I really enjoyed it but thank you guys so much for watching this week's vlog and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!